Blessings and welcome to your program, Shalom, Shalom, with your host, Dr. Marisol Pelser and my beloved husband, Reverend Dexter Pelser. But he's not here tonight, but I have a special guest, Dr. Mary Kay Baxter, a spiritual mom. Amen. And why don't you say hello to the studio audience, Baba? Well, good afternoon. We're very glad to be here. The traffic is pretty bad out there, but we made it. We <laughs> made it. We left home like an hour and a half ago, and we made it by the hair of our ching, ching, ching. Amen. And today's program is going to be a program that is going to bless you eternally. It is going to help you to walk in a way of holiness, in a way that you will not derail from God's will for your life. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be talking about hell. Um, Dr. Mary Kay Baxter wrote a book, Divine Revelation of Hell. Amen. And if you want to buy the book, you can go to her website, um, Mary Kay Baxter Inc., and, and get this book, and it will change your life. Mm -hmm. You know, time is running out, and the devil wants to deceive us. He doesn't want us to accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior and the sacrifice of the cross. And the Lord gave Sister Mary a revelation of hell so that she will tell the story and, and minister to people. And then there's another book, my, my favorite book, two favorite ones, A Divine Revelation of Heaven and A Divine Revelation of Angels. I love those two books. They're all available in her website. So before we start, I'm going to pray, and then I'm gonna, we're going to get right to it. Amen. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for your blessings. We thank you, Father, and we welcome the Holy Spirit to come and take control. Holy Spirit, take control of the program and anoint her mouth so for only, yes. only, <coughs> only, only to speak what the Spirit of God is telling the church. <coughs> And I thank you for that, Lord, and I thank you for your blessings and for your revelations. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So, Sister Mary, mm -hmm. a divine revelation of hell. Yes. The other night, we were in our dining room table, and she was telling me all these things that were profound. Um, about some of the things that got revealed to her. So I'm going to give her the opportunity to speak to you and, and tell you about hell. Amen. So go ahead, Thank Mama. you. Uh, my name is Dr. Mary Kay Baxter, and uh, I've been telling this story now for quite a while. It was shown to me by Jesus himself in 1976. And as we opened up the service, we introduced Dexter, which is not here, Marcel's husband, he had to go out of town this weekend, but we love him so much. Yeah. And we, if he's watching the YouTube later, we're saying, hello, Dexter. Amen. Yeah. But tonight, uh, we're going to talk about a subject that many people don't want to hear. And it's very important, as we were trying to counsel a child today, that as you're in your teens, you really got to decide for your future what you want from God. And the enemy, if you're chosen of the Lord, the enemy wants to shoot darts at you to hinder you from accomplishing the will of the Father. And God chose me, and I was very happy he did, to show me uh, the center of the earth where hell is. He took me down to hell three hours a night. He was in the human form, and I was in the spirit. I could see, talk, Marcel, and turn. I knew everything going on about me. And he said, I'm going to take you on a journey that will shake the nations. And in the future, you'll write a book about hell. And some things I'll shut up in your mind until later on. Because hell is a horrifying place. And I'm going to take you and show you things that's written in the Bible according to the sins of the flesh. And I said, yes, Lord. And with that, he took me by his power, just spoke. And the power of God came on me and my soul come out of my body. And I laid on, my body was on the bed and my spirit went with the Lord Jesus Christ out of my bedroom into the heavens and there was uh, like tunnels spinning in the air. Like you could see through them like foggy, uh, uh, transparent tunnels and they were circleless. 
And he said, we're going to go down a tunnel. It's called a gateway into hell. And then in the air was written, the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. So it's very important you know and you understand this is all planned by God. He does not want you going to hell. If you're watching tonight, you're going to learn so much about the revelation of hell. And Marcel, hell is a serious place that we don't want anyone to go to. God doesn't want you to go there. But if you choose the devil and you choose to serve him, when you die, you will go to hell because you've never given your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what this program is all about, that you understand and give your life to the Lord God Almighty and ask him to come in your heart and save your soul and teach you and guide you. Because it is a, seems like all our life it's a schooling, right, Marcel? Yes. Or a teaching of the Holy Spirit. So we're going to be, be glad to share with you tonight. And Marcel will be asking me questions. And I'll tell you some graphic details of hell. And we don't want you to go there, honey. In Jesus' name. You know, when we were having that conversation in the table at our dining room table, we were talking about what you sow is what you reap. And you saw people in hell sowing what they reaped. Mm -hmm. And that had a profound effect on me. So can you share a little bit yeah. about that, Mama? Well, first of all, I want to show you this. This is kind of like an outline of a shoot. And you don't know another person's walk with their life. You don't know where they've been mm -hmm. till you walked a mile in their shoes. So you quit being critical and you quit being mean. You don't know what kind of childhood they had or life they've had. And I've, the Lord had me bring this to show you. It's represented as a shoe. I can't walk in Marcel's shoes of her past. She can't walk in mine. And you cannot be critical and judge other people because you don't know what's happened to them or how far they come and only God can judge the heart. Wow. So these are serious things we're going to talk about tonight because I've learned from the Lord I have to love everybody but I don't have to be a part of what they're doing. I can forgive and I can walk in integrity but I truly care about their eternal soul no yes. matter what they've done. Because I saw hell and I saw the judgment of God. I saw souls burning, sweetheart, that looked like skeletons. And whether you like it or not, I hate those shirts. I hate those skeleton pictures that people's got because they've come out of hell. That's what's in hell. When you die and go to hell, your flesh burns off and you're in a pool of fire in a hole. And the worms come up and eat your flesh and you're a skeleton like you see. I don't know if it's called the walking dead or what. But it is serious. That's how people look at hell. And inside of them, it's just a dirty mist right there. That's their eternal soul. And it's dark. And that's how they talk, they turn, they, they, they move. They can try to climb out of their, their pits, but the demons will not let them. And they, around their feet in the fires is the word of God, of judgment. You were a liar. And the fires get hotter. And the next judgment will be you were a thief. And the thief, okay, stole stuff. Every work of, of the flesh in Galatians, there's a judgment in hell on. You may not believe that, but we're going to read you the scriptures later on. They're going to prove to you what we're saying. Galatians 5. But I want to give you some inserts tonight of how you reap what you sow. And Marcel, many watching don't even know what I'm talking about, what you reap what you sow. Okay. If you reap hatred... You're, you, I mean, you spread hatred, you're going to reap it. People are going to hate you. Okay, if you, uh, you go and you beat somebody or murder somebody, somebody's going to try to murder you. You're going to reap it, but not just on earth, but in hell. And in hell, there's serial killers that kill people in certain sections, and they would actually, the people they kill would appear there, but they were demons, and they would look like the people they killed on the earth, but they weren't. And those demons would take the form of that human they killed and beat them or cut them or stab them as they did on the earth to the other people. And when they did that, they reaped it in hell over and over and over until a big a snake would come up, big as a locomotive, and swallow that person that was the serial killer and chew him up and spit him out. I am telling you the truth. Wow. Hell is a place you do not want to go. 
Hell is a place that God is warning you tonight. If you're doing any of these wicked things, you better stop it. And you better turn to God. I mean, we can pat you on the back and we can love you, but we cannot make up your mind, honey. You've got to make up your own mind because you're of accountability. And Marcel, that is true. You reap what you sow in hell. So the we have to examine our character. Yes. And I want to read them Galash, Galatians 5.19. Listen to this. It says that these people will not inherit the kingdom of God. These people will not go to heaven. The acts of sinful nature are obvious. Sexual immorality. Hold it there. Sexual immorality. Can I say something about that yeah. in hell? Where men or women have raped little children and never repented to God, they are totally, it's a place of such stink and mud and filth and toilets drop down in it where all these skeletons mm. are. And it's filthy and nasty. And their judgment is constant torment from demons mm. on their skeleton form what they did to the children on the earth. No wow. rest, day or night. Wow. They're reaping what they sown, Marisol. Wow. Impurity and devocery, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred. If you hate, you better find it in your heart to forgive the person, not hate them. Discord, jealousy, fits of rage, self-ambition, dissensions. People that like to bring divisions in churches or in families, they're going straight to hell. Factions and envy, if you envy people. Drunkenness, orgies and the like. I warn you, as I did before, for those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. Tonight we're talking about some serious stuff, Marisol. And I can't pat you on the back or water down the gospel. Oh, Hell hallelujah. should be preached more and more, especially in our times we're living in. And here's a testimony I want to give to you. When Christ and I walked in hell, how a man, a skeleton, turned to Jesus and talked to him while we were in hell. And there's many stories in my book about this. But I, can I read this, Marcia? Yes, go ahead, <clears throat> Mama. You have total freedom. And he took me by the hand, Jesus did, and I began to walk among the fiery pits of hell. On the dry, cracked ground, <clears throat> bony hands would reach out to us and put their hands together as if in prayer and shake under the fierceness of the flames around them. Now listen, they're there till the day of the great white throne judgment. I'll read to you later. When death and hell comes up and they're thrown again in a lake of fire to burn forever. My goodness, my goodness. We don't want you to go there. <clears throat> and they would open their mouths and it would speak to Jesus. Marcel, and here's what they'd say. It was a man's voice and he said, Lord Jesus, yes, I can call you Lord in hell. The demons hate it. They stab me when I say Jesus. And I watch their skeletons put their hands together and bow in the fire and look at Jesus. Wow. And he spoke. He said, Jesus, I was rebellious. I was evil. I heard your words many, many times, but I didn't believe you. <clears throat> That's the way people are today. I watched his skeleton put his hand to get, hands together crying, but no tears come. I heard you many times. Can I now repent to you? I hurt people, Lord. I slept with many women. I lived a life of sin and lies. Can I repent now to you, Jesus? I hurt many people. I feel the Holy Spirit's talking to someone tonight. You've been abusing your wife and your girlfriend. You better stop it. I died, Lord, in my motorcycle that day in a wreck. My soul came out of my body, and it began to go down a gateway, and demons were saying, I deceived you, I deceive you. There's no more hope. The demons would laugh as they began to take me down this dark deck gateway. I knew everything. The minute I descended into hell, I knew hell was real. I knew you were real, Jesus. I understood all the time you said to me, and people told me, repent of your sins, and I would not. 
Oh, my goodness. And the demons would laugh, and they would laugh and put chains on me. I was going down, and I had rejected the Lord of Lords and host of hosts. But it was too late for me as I screamed for mercy. Nobody cared. Mockers and demons, they laughed and said, We deceived you for the works of your flesh more than God's commandments. As I descended into hell, I could hear the cries of thousands saying, Save us. Somebody help us. Why wasn't I warned of this place called hell? They were in piles in heaps and chains on them screaming, Mars, on flames burning them. And nobody cared for their soul, Mars. It was too late. Wow. Because the judgment of Almighty God had been set. Thousands and thousands of skeletons. And there was a sign in front of us that said Satan's trophies. Wow. He said we're Satan's trophies. Their soul inside. Jesus is listening to this man, and I'm listening to this man. My heart is breaking. Wow. Jesus is crying. And the man kept talking. He said, is there any hope for me left? You want to say something? You know, our hope is in Christ Jesus. He's the hope of glory. You know, Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And Satan <clears throat> wants to steal your future. He wants to kill, <clears throat> rob, and destroy everything that God wants to give to you. <clears throat> and all you have to do is make a choice today to live for Jesus and to accept him as your Lord and Savior. And your destiny will be so different. You will have a victorious life, fulfilling your calling, the, the plans that God has for you. In heaven, there's a book of all the things that he has for your life for you to do, amen? And it's amazing. So you have to make a choice. Yeah. There was people down in, in hell who, who said, can I change my mind? Can I accept Jesus now? Yes, and uh, I just feel the heartache of Christ tonight. That There's something I won't try to read, Marcion. If I start to cry, you have to take over. Okay. Is there hope for me? Uh -huh. With great, great tears came down Christ's face. And I had his hand. He held my left hand, and I felt it get warm, and I was in a, a, a spirit form. And I looked down, and blood was actually coming from the Lord's hand. And I looked down at his feet. Gushing blood come out of the top of him where the wounds were. And he was crying, Marcel. Christ was. Wow. And the man said... We were in the next, wait, excuse me. Christ said, the judgment of my father has been set, and he walked away. Wow. And we could hear the man screaming. The heat is burning for several days in chains that we are chained, and then we're released, and then we burn again, and the flesh falls off that we don't even have. We are reaping everything we sown upon the earth and would not repent of. And it seems like eternity, the man said. It seems like eternity. We would scream. And, and we scream and hit each other and, and cry in, but death does not come. Finally, they come and separate us and put in our torment places again. Each one of us have to go to a different torment. Is there any more hope? And I was saying, Lord, I hope there is. And the Lord said, come, we go to the next one. Wow. And I'd watch these pitiful skeletons of men talking, women talking. Fire would raise up into their, all over them like a torch and go back down. And hot, hot, like hot, rotten flesh would melt and worms would crawl out of that. Over and over and over. And they would actually pull the worms out of the bones, screaming the fire would not burn the worms. All kind of torment. They were reaping. There was one man re reaping uh, 
He had a filthy mouth. He was always cursing and saying nasty things. And out of his skeleton would come worms and snakes, and he would throw up, and it would start over again, Marcel. They were reaping the filth they put upon the earth. Wow. So we have to make a choice. What is our fruit going to be? We have to make a choice. Christ of the world. So to close the program, I, I want Mama to lead you in the Lord's, in, in accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Amen. And you watch it. Okay, yes. this is a hard subject, but you've got to have the fear of the Lord. Yes. When Christ took me down in hell, I got the fear of the Lord, let me tell you, going down that thing. I could hear the voices of the dead. We passed the youth burning. They were saying, oh, my God, why didn't somebody warn me? Somebody tell me. And, and to the next program, too, we're going to talk about the drug demons and the ones that attach themselves to you and speak to you and tell you to do wicked things. But if you're out there tonight, can you please, the beginning of your walk with God is to repent. Yes. In Jesus' name, that repent means I asked you, God, to forgive me of my rotten sins. I'm guilty, God. I did these things. And God will reach down, honey, and you'll have that peace you've been looking for. Yes. You'll have that surrendering to Jesus Christ. So we asked in Jesus' name Amen. tonight, if you're watching and you want Jesus in your heart, and you surrender to God, say, Lord Jesus, I come to you tonight just as I am. I'm a sinner, Lord. I have sinned against heaven and you and people. Please forgive me, Lord Jesus. I truly repent. Come into my heart and save my soul. Yes. Teach me of your holy ways and fill me with your love and the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Help me, Lord Jesus, I pray. Let me be born again today and find a great church, a Bible-teaching church that teaches you the truth teaches you how to walk with God, helps you overcome. That's what the churches are about. Yes. We can't do it all. We can just tell you what we've had in visitations. And those are in Galatians. Look in Galatians on your YouTubes or whatever, your phone, whatever, and look up the sins of your flesh. Look up Revelations chapter 21 when God said, you will not enter heaven. Look up in chapter 20 about being hell being brought up and thrown into a lake of fire. Look up these scriptures yourself in Luke chapter 16, verse 19, about the rich man in Lazarus. He could still hear Marcel talk and knew his family was above the earth. Wow. You know, I want to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, shalomshalom.org. And, um, and, and there's many, over 650 programs there where you can learn about the Lord and you can learn about so many things. Um, Mama teaches in the, the YouTube channel. Brother Dexter teaches. And let me tell you something. He knows to te how to teach about holiness and walking in with, to fulfill God's purposes. So we want to invite you to subscribe. It would be a blessing to you. If you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please write to us at shalomshalom.org. Um, get in touch with us. We love you. God bless you. This has been your program, Shalom, Shalom, with your host, Dr. Marisol Pelzer, and my spiritual mom, Dr. Mary Kay Baxter. God bless you, and we'll see you next time. Amen. Glory to God.